Hey lovers, part six, Erin Dessner. We are on to Darren Dessner's work with Taylor. So I think that something happened, a spark that happened when they began film or um, recording Folklore and Evermore with each other. Um, because I don't think their writing together has ever stopped. Um, at her recent show in Tampa, Swift says, in the last couple of years, I discovered the collaborator version of a soulmate. On stage with Aaron, they they were just so excited and Taylor said how much music they've made together as in music we've never heard yet probably I have no doubt that these two are going to be collaborating together in the future maybe the near future and that there's a possible band forming in Tampa Aaron was there supporting her three nights um Gracie Abrams was also there I think that he was there for the three nights because they probably went to a recording studio in Orlando and worked too. But two of the nights he got on stage, one night um, they sang Mad Woman together off of Folklore. And then they sang Would Have, Could Have, Should Have off of Midnight's. Now, Would Have, Could Have, Should Have is a 3 a.m. track that they wrote right after they won the Grammy for Folklore. So these two have been writing music for a very long time. Not only did they collaborate on Folklore and Evermore and Midnight's, he's helped her work on Fearless Taylor's version and Red Taylor's version. And I'm assuming her Taylor's versions that have yet to come. Now, after he started working with Taylor, Aaron became a very, very wanted producer. He started, he worked with Maya Hawks, Maya Hawk, sorry, Gracie Abrams, Girl in Red, King Princess, and most recently, Ed Sheeran, his new album, which comes out May 5th. So Aaron had a really cool take on this in his um, podcast where he said that after working with Taylor, it was just like flooded with people that wanted to work with him because of how pro high profile she is and that she really helped him kind of come out of his shell. And he did start working with some people. However, he said he's limited it because he only likes working with a small number of people because he is so shy. He also mentioned that his friend Bon Iver has really tried to get him to take the spotlight. Matter of fact, before COVID, Bon Iver um, wanted Aaron to open for him on his own, just with his own music. And he was terrified to do it, but he said he would do it. Well, some of that music was never heard and a lot of it ended up being folklore evermore. So Justin for a long time has been trying to get him out of his shell as well. He also talked about writing hits different with Taylor as well as high infidelity. I'm going to wrap this all up in the next part.